Rob Mason, club historian, editor of Tales from the Red and Whites. And uh, for those of you uh, who don't know what Tales from the Red and Whites is, it was a book that came out a year or so ago, and now there's a sequel, a second. The, the next Tales from the Red and Whites I've worked on, I was kindly invited to, to work on it by... Uh, to the people who'd, who'd worked on the first book and who were good friends of mine, namely Lance Hardy, a senior producer at the BBC, who uh, was the author of the highly acclaimed Stoke or Sunderland in 73 book. And, of course, Graham Anderson, who everyone knows for many, many years, was uh, the main man from the Sunderland Echo following Sunderland. So Graham, Lance and myself have put together a book where we've picked out 11 Sunderland players, one in each position, uh, we're not saying it's an all-time greatest team, but they're all interesting characters. And uh, we've interviewed each of those 11 players at length. Each chapter is something in the region of about seven to 8,000 words long, so it's a substantial read. It gets them to talk about their careers with hindsight, on reflection, and in particular to go into how they look back on their careers now. And in the case of the goalkeeper, Tony Corton, um, who Graham Anderson's um, interviewed, Tony Corton came into the side in Sunderland's first Premier League game, played the first 12 games, broke his leg at Southampton and never played again. And everybody looks back on that season and talks about how we might have stopped up if, if Niall Quinn had stayed fit. But Peter Reid himself at that time said the thing that cost us our place, bear in mind we went down with 40 points, the thing that cost us our place then was losing Tony Corton. And things got quite messy between him and the club at the time afterwards, after the... Um, after the injury and, and what happened with the treatment of the injury and Tony reflects on that with Graham it's a, I've, I've read all of the, I mean I've written some of the chapters but we've each as editors we've each read everybody else's chapters and I have to say um, that's one of many many chapters in the book that's a, a fascinating read it's a book I've enjoyed working on and I've particularly enjoyed being able to work on it with Graham and Lance who are both really really good writers uh, really good at, at teasing information out of people and I'm sure some of the supporters reading that book um, we'll, we'll be fascinated by it. Now, the, the launch is, is November the 17th, which is a Friday night. It's before the Millwall game. Yeah. Someone described it to me as, um, if you're a fan of Sunderland, it is Sunderland porn. <laughs> I, mean, I, <laughs> I bet that was great. to mention that? I bet that was great. Mention what? Porn? <laughs> well, no, wait, 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 Sunderland porn, you know what I mean? No, what do you mean? Well, I mean it's a, a, a plethora, a cornucopia of former Sunderland players. Yeah. So if you're a Sunderland you fan, that night at the Stadium of Light yeah. will be, well, you'll be like a pig in the doggy okay. do. It's something, right, OK? It's something you we can won't, lose We might not be on air by three o'clock, the way things are going. It's something you can lose yourself in if you are a Sunderland supporter. Let me give you one or two of the other names that's in. The, the players that I've interviewed personally, I've done Sean Elliott as one of, me, one of our centre-backs in our team. I've done Gordon Armstrong, who's one of the highest appearance makers in the club's history, and that's often overlooked. Um, I've done Vic Hallam as the centre forward, obviously the 73 Cup final centre forward. He's the only member of the 73 team who's in the book. But to give you a smattering of the other names I'd say, there's people like Stephen Elliott, um, Stephen Schwartz, uh, Martin Scott, John McPhail, uh, Darren Holloway, uh, Tony Towers. It's a really, really good combination of, uh, and Stan Anderson, it's a really good combination of names, both from the far distant past, like Stan and from Vic, and more recent players like Stephen Elliott, for instance. Um, but we think we've chosen the players because we think they've all got a story to tell, and largely they've got stories to tell that have mainly been untold until now. And we hope that when people read the book, that's what they think. I know uh, if you want more information, the, the, the details are on the Tales from the Red and Whites website. Mm -hmm. So just um, find that uh, on social media as well, all the details, Tales from the Red and Whites 2. And that night at the Stadium of Light is Friday, November the 17th.